Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about some of the most recent news in the NBA. As today was reported by Hoops Hype and Bleacher Report that the Pacers are expected to pursue Harrison Barnes in free agency, who played with the Sacramento Kings this season, and Barnes had a really solid season this year, averaging around 15 points per game, and was a big part of that. You know, the Kings, I mean, wasn't that good for the Kings in the playoffs in that seven game series against the Warriors, but was really good and a really good part of was a really good part of that um, of that team for the Kings in the in the regular season when he averaged around 15 points per game. Um, now, this I didn't I, this was something that I thought, you know, would happen because the Pacers are trying to basically look at everybody right now. They're looking for a wing, but basically what the report is is that the Pacers are expected to pursue Harrison Barnes in free agency if they are not able to, you know, make any trades for a wing. Uh, like, I mean, they have they have multiple trade interests that they like. The OG, there's a couple other trades. There's like OG on it. They 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 want OG on an OB. There's a couple other players I I think they want, but I can't remember who. But if if a couple of trade options they have don't work out uh, during draft week, that the Pacers will be targeting Harrison Barnes in free agency. Now he has a lot of he has a he has a lot of history with this Pacers team. Um and the the it starts with the head coach, uh Rick Carlisle, who was with him in Dallas, was his head coach in Dallas from the for for the three what was he there? Three years he was there, the sixteen seventeen season, the seventeen eighteen season, um and then he was there for half of so he he was his he was he was Rick Carlisle was his coach for two and a half seasons, and then and then he also played with Tyrese Halliburton, and I guess you could say Buddy Heald too, but I don't I'm not sure if 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 Buddy Heald will be there if Harrison Barnes comes, but he played with Ty- Tyrese Halliburton and and, and um, Buddy Heald in Sacramento, Buddy Heald. Didn't play with him that was he? Was, wait, did he play with Buddy? Yeah, he did play with Buddy Heald because Buddy Heald was still there. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but he played with Buddy Heald for a while because Buddy. I mean Harrison. What when did he join? He joined them in eighteen nineteen. He joined them in, in the eighteen nineteen season when the Mavs traded him to Sacramento. So he played with him the the rest of the eighteen nineteen season. Uh, so that's a half a season. Then the nineteen twenty season. And then the 2021 season, so that's two and a half seasons. And then Heald got traded in the 21. So he played, um, he played three seasons with Buddy Heald, and then played, uh, then he played a season and a half with Halliburton. Um, now not three full seasons with Hal, with not th- three full seasons with Heald. Two full two full seasons, and then two half seasons. And then Halliburton, the full 2021 season, and then half of the 21-22 season. So played with with Heald for three seasons, and then and then also played with Halliburton for a season and a half, and then was coached by Rick Carlisle for t- two and a half seasons. So I know that's, the numbers are a little wacky, but just trying to you know give them all out, but. Um, I mean, here he, Barnes would be a good fit for the Pacers. I mean, they have a bunch of other targets in free agency. They're interested in guys like Jeremy Grant and Grant Williams and a couple of the oh, Kyle Kuzma is another guy they are interested in. But Harrison Barnes, if you know, if if Grant Williams or a couple other guys go elsewhere, Harrison Barnes could be a good fit. You know, since he's up there in age, going to be thirty two next season. At the start of next season, I believe he'll be thirty-two. I think his birthday is in it. I'm not too sure. No, that was that was that was um, that was Nurkic that turned. Uh, that that was his birthday was in October, but I think Barnes at some point next season turns thirty-two, and so he's getting up there in age. Not only that, but um, I feel I don't know. I just feel like you know he's that he's you know he's definitely worth quite a bit, but I feel like. Uh, probably a little bit less than he's, you know, I think he's probably worth around in the area of ten to thirteen million a year. Um, if I'm if I'm the Pacers, try to get him to a to a three year thirty three million dollar deal, maybe thirty three and a half. Um, 
and then and then you 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 add him to the roster with some of those young guys. I would think at that point if you're if you're giving you know, if you're giving Barnes a three year thirty three three thirty three and a half million dollar deal, you're gonna be able to make some other moves in free agency. I have no idea what type of those moves would be. I don't know how much cap space they would have after that. You're spending around um let's just say you they pay him eleven in the first year and then eleven point two the second year, eleven point two in the third year. So in that case you're paying him eleven for the first year, so you're 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 spending eleven million dollars for the twenty three twenty four season. So in that case, I have no idea how much money how much money in cap space they'd have to have to spend, or how much cap space this year they would be able to spend um, in free agency after a Harrison Barnes signing. But it'd be a definitely decent signing. I mean, he's gonna have a decent impact. I mean, I'm not sure if he'll average more points per game than he did with the Kings this season. Maybe, possibly, probably not. Um, but he still will have a really solid season with the Pacers if he signs there. It's definitely a potential candidate. Do I do do I really see it happening? Probably not. I see Harrison Barnes wanting to play for a contender, uh, most likely this off season. So I think most likely the move for Harrison Barnes will be to play for a contender. But we'll see what happens. Um, you guys, remember thoughts on the potential signing? That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.